Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome back to another Gemstone Legends video, and I want to do a video with some gameplay of my hero that just launched in Gemstone Legends. Um, it was such a cool process. I mean, just to be a character in a video game is really exciting. Um, but seeing him, me, I guess, in action is super exciting. Um, I forgot to record it, but I just used uh, me. <laughs> I don't know how to say this on a war team and it was such a fun experience um you know just as a quick preface the mana gain at 25 is amazing uh especially with 26 from tomes because i think that means that um uh, i think that means that with mana breath that brings it up to 30 if i recall correctly and then with board king like it's just all these things make it so easy to charge and then if you remove uh, six statuses so there has to be at least one negative status on all your heroes and like one positive status on one hero on the enemy team something like that uh, with tomes then you get 20 mana as well so the um low or the uh, the high mana gain number the low number of tiles it takes to charge the high mana gain board king with mana breath and um gaining 20 mana with tomes when you um, remove negative statuses from your team or positive from the other team, you have to remove at least six, but you have a true chance to remove two positive statuses from all enemies with Tome. So the combination is like the perfect support hero that I wanted. Um, so we're going to try it out in a team. And how do I want to do this? I want to show him with astral heroes, but with other heroes as well. Let's go with Strybog, so we're really boosting the mana gain. And let's add one other hero, like... Uh, let's bring Gladio, so we'll keep the speed leadership. Now I can use it on him, so we'll do that. He's the leader. Alright, so we've got tons of mana on this team. Uh, and let's have some fun. All right, so speed is super fast. Fastest one on my team. All right, and they've all got immunity, or do they? So we'll remove that immunity. We'll stun Guinevere slash kill Guinevere. Let's charge up Gladiosa. Get some damage down on him. Obviously, he's going to shine in a team of all good heroes, but... Yeah, then just having Board King on every hero for four turns is super awesome. Um, like, that might even charge him again right here. Let's see. Uh, yeah, whatever. Yep, charge him again. Alrighty. Let's just go ahead and kill Guinevere. Got no statuses to remove, but unlike someone like Galmaris, who just does nothing once you, uh, if you have no statuses to remove, um, you still get to refresh Mono Breath and Board King. And yeah, Mono Breath increases Mono Gain by four, so that would, at, with Tomes, push him up to 20, or excuse me, up to 30 once Mono Breath is active. Well, this team wasn't much of a challenge. Let's let Lurker fire so we can remove some more statuses. I dropped down in the arena recently and haven't climbed back up, so I don't have the strongest teams to deal with here. Well, we're not going to be able to do anything. Uh, Lurker is going to just be able to get charged and then essentially die. So let's run this back to another team. Ah, perfect. Okay, so this is something I hadn't even thought about until now, but now I have a fantastic solution for dealing with Akuma, and also I noticed in War for dealing with Karagon and his really annoying four turns of shared damage. Uh, being able to remove that to your benefit of gaining mana is freaking amazing. So we have Karagon and Akuma on the same team. I often find Akuma to, uh, difficult to deal with because... 
Um, generally, you have to bring a attacking hero who also, you know, has a dispel or something like that. I didn't have a lot of that in my team, so I'm happy to see this. Keep in mind, Akuma is a strong color against me, but um, with this speed, it shouldn't be an issue. So, let's see, that's all we need to charge him. Alright, we can remove the shared damage. It's not going to be enough to boost the mana, because um, if we look at the skill... Well, as you can, oh, it was. Wait, is it only 5 with tomes? Oh, I think it's six without tomes, but if he removed up to five, positive or negative, restores 20 mana. So yeah, that's all it takes. Boom, 20 mana. Um, let's do this. Let's try to get this Akuma kill early. And we've got Board King, which is just super fun. And then Strybog for more mana. Let's get the kill like this. That might not be enough. Uh, who's got to turn next? Let's block him. And then some more Board King. Um, I think Board King with Astrals is especially good. Because, uh, let's see, what does the Mana Breath make his Mana Gains? Wow. So bringing his Mana Gain up to 20 is so powerful for an Astral Hero. And then Board King going to be charging all the time and he can normally already match four times and so now he can match five times on his turn which is crazy good all right let's do this i wish you could aim where that second hit goes all right so now let's charge him up remove those statuses it's interesting to time it with like how you give mana to everyone you know because it's like you want to fire him first to remove something that might block an ailment, but then in firing him first, you're not giving mana to the person that you're about to fire after. So just a consideration to make. Uh, a happy trade-off in my mind. All right, and I just love Board King. It was already no problem charging Capre in his turn, um, but now it's like you're matching the entire board. Alrighty, and we got good old Mr. Spock charged up again already. No statuses to remove, but it, again, like I mentioned before, it does allow us to refresh Board King. Why is Akuma not dying? But we don't need to refresh Board King yet, so we'll just enjoy the benefits of it. Not even worried about Karagon firing either. All right, he gets his little bonus stuff. Take that away. Not enough to give us mana, but enough to make a difference in the fight. And to refresh Board King. So that's the one thing I don't like about heroes like Galmaris. He obviously, he obviously has many benefits, which is why he's seen in so many places. But if there's no statuses to remove, he does absolutely nothing. And it's nice to see that my hero, when there's no statuses, no statuses to remove you don't get um you don't get the 20 mana which is fine but you keep mana breath and board king so that's just like going the entire battle and he's reducing speed when he's alive and boosting crit damage it's super awesome all right let's find one more good battle here oh come on yep that's the problem is i dropped too goddamn low all right, not a super strong opponent here, but the point is not, can I win? The point is, look what he does in context. So again, let's see, I've got him at, these are the stats for mine, 420 speed, um, which is amazing. So that means that crit damage is boosted by 24%, which is just a hit, nice hidden perk as well. Um, yeah, so I want to get that defense up a bit higher. HP, you can see, is like 40,000, defense 34. So I really uh, pushed for speed. I might back that down a little bit. 
Uh, since with speed leadership, I'm over 400. So I think if I was around 400, I would be okay with that. But it is nice to, in wars especially, have a guarantee at going first. Um, okay, so you can see I've got four instances of board jester on me, and they happen to have two starting buffs there. So that's enough to give some mana. And we've got the mana breath going now. That'll probably be enough to charge him up those five tiles not on his turn. And let's... Oh, almost. All right, but with Strybog, it will be. So who's got... Let's hit him up first. Push these two full. Nothing to remove, nothing to refresh yet, so we won't worry about that. Get Gladiosa going here. So let me know if you have found any really good synergies. Um, I'm extremely curious to see how people are going to use this hero. I think he's probably best in offense, but that is kind of like, that's what I would want anyways, because I think offense is the most important part of the game, because that's where you're actually playing. So I'm not bothered by that at all. Um, let's hit him one more time. Let's go over here. Don't need to refresh our board king yet. So clearly there's plenty of things that he doesn't do. Uh, like, you know, he doesn't heal, he's not doing any damage, that kind of thing. But no hero can do it all. So I think there are um, a number of really... Oops, messed that up. There's a number of really good teams that he could be part of. So I'm extremely curious to hear from you guys how you're, getting, how you're using him or what you've found to be especially good. Uh, so let me know in the comments and let's put this on auto and see how it does so we'll refresh our mono breath board king keep matching a million times i don't know the math on this but i do get the impression that he is going to be best against um or not against with astral heroes just because um, boosting their mana gain is so significant because they're matching from all color tiles. So I think any change in mana gain for an Astral Hero is really good, which is why it's built into their like passives as you tome them. Um, and then giving Board King. So it's like every tile is giving more and you're matching even more tiles, which seems like an exponential boost to charging them. All right, let's try to find one more here and then we'll call it quits. But... Once again, thank you to everyone who has just contributed to the channel over the years. That is really the reason why this has happened in the first place. So it's such a cool moment. I feel like they nailed the art um, and the skills are really awesome. Seeing these buffs come out uh, during their balancing process. It's been a while while we waited for them to do their testing and everything. All right, a distinctly ungreen board here. But it's enough for our Astrals, so let's finish the job there. Oh yeah, these heroes are not built very well, so keep that in mind. Alright, now we've got some statuses to remove and some mana to gain. Still no greens, though. But, doesn't matter, he's ready. Mana boost, mana breath. Yeah, it's awesome that just the timing of when he fires so they had statuses to remove right so i fire him and i gain mana at the same time as getting the mana breath and stuff on top of that so the timing of that is really cool because you just suddenly have tremendous sources of mana and a you know a flat boost to what you have as well all right let's see if we can charge capre not on his turn. Yep. Holy shit. Alright. No statuses to remove, so it's all about keeping Board King alive. Let's hit this guy. Charge Capri again. Oh yeah. I think he's going to be part of some elite offensive teams. I think the top players are not going to use him on defense. Uh, there's plenty of teams in the 
in the top 50 in the leaderboard right now that are using him on defense, but I think he's going to really shine. Let's take that healing away and boost some mana. Uh, I think he's really going to shine on offense because of, uh, I don't know, it's just uh, easier to work with him in the ways that you would you would need to. Oops. Oh, messed that up. Working too quickly and trying to talk at the same time. But we still got him charged. Man, is he too strong? The crit damage boost is really nice on top. Like, I'm assuming that I'm hitting teams that have low value equipment on them just because of what my ranking is, even though they're fully awakened and maxed. But it's possible that it's just the crit damage boost that I'm seeing because Capray has beastly stats in terms of crit rate and crit damage, and adding 24% on that is not insignificant. In fact, the more crit damage you have, I think the better the gain it is when you add more. So anyways, let me know your thoughts. I'm so, so excited with this hero. Um, hopefully you guys were met, you were able to pull him, you managed to pull him. Um, there's always the wish list if you weren't able to, but you've got one more day today, uh, Sunday before the boost goes away. And hopefully from my initial review and seeing him in action, you agree with me that he is awesome. And, oh man, I'm so happy with the art and it's just crazy seeing your, a, a rendering of your own face in a game. Um, all right, that's it. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Please hit the like button if you enjoyed the video, you like the hero, any and all that kind of stuff. If you haven't subscribed already, subscribe. More videos like this to come. Um, and yeah, if you're still watching and you're not playing Gemstone Legends, come on over. There are download links in the description to give you a free $50 starter bonus to get you off on the right foot. Uh, which you won't get downloading from the App Store, and you won't get in many other games like Empires and Puzzles. So check that out. Get a good head start. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.